right, folks. Chuck here. Why not wander in the RV with Miss Linda and the Motley crew? Miss Linda spent the morning on the telephone with uh, meetings for her work. I spent the morning walking the dogs around the parking lot, and I went into the casino here, played a little blackjack before breakfast. Successfully, I might add. Didn't play a lot. Didn't play long. Didn't. Uh, didn't win much, but I did come out ahead. I had a 20% uh, win on the stake that laid on the table. So anyway, we're getting ready to leave here. It's just past noon. It's Monday. Is it Monday? Is this Wednesday? This is Wednesday, March 10th. Tell you what, since I retired, I lose track of time and date and calendars. It is March still, I think. But anyway, we spent the night here running Aces Casino. We're headed for Duluth, which is 125-ish miles north, northeast from here. Uh, last night we had supper with Linda's brother and his wife down in White Bear Lake, 25-ish miles south. We're just a little bit north of Minneapolis, Minnesota here. We, uh, none of the Walmarts in the Minneapolis area allow overnight boondocking. We weren't successful finding a truck stop or anything. Linda had forgotten her computer at her brother's house. She'd taken it there to take advantage of the Wi-Fi for a little bit yesterday evening, came off without it. So we were looking for a place fairly close north to stop. Weren't having much luck. Now there are various rest areas, various truck parking lots along the interstate, but uh, we're just off Interstate 35, going north, and weren't finding anything, and I saw these bright lights over here, did a quick Google search, uh, running Aces Casino, we didn't know it was here, uh, we just weren't aware, but we turned off the interstate, came over here, Linda was getting pretty tired, I was ready to stop for the night, it was dark after dinner, I think we got here about 8 o'clock, or 8-ish or so last night. I called security. I didn't see any trucks, any uh, RVs or anything in the parking lot. So I did call casino to security and they said I didn't see a problem with just spending overnight. Said uh, they had a bus area here, which turns out what they have the cars. Let me uh, get the motor home moving here and I'll show you a little bit. Well, first before we move, straight ahead of us here, now you probably can't see Far over on what would be there, I think you might be able to see that if I go over the road It says running aces. That's actually the fence on the far side of a horse race track. We do have horse races here. Of course, uh, we're in the winter. The white you're seeing is snow. There's a big snow pile over here that was melted considerably on the far side of the lot. But back this way. The name of the place on the uh, over over the entryway there, where there's valet parking, is Running Aces Casino Hotel Racetrack. Now, as it happens, the hotel right there is brand new. The grand opening is scheduled for March 11th. Tomorrow, we won't be here, but I was going to show you. If I keep driving straight ahead here, the cars to the left and the right, there's a bus stop up here. Apparently, people catch a bus here. Now, I haven't seen, doesn't mean there haven't been any, I have not seen a bus come or go this morning. We've been parked here all morning. Uh, I got up, I guess, about 8. I don't know. I was up in the middle of the night. Couldn't go back to sleep. Watched a couple of YouTube videos, which is kind of common for me to go to sleep at night when I can't go back. But Sparky's wanting up on my lap here. I'm going to hand this camera off to you for just a second. Come on. Come on. He's getting old and has a hard time jumping up on my lap now. Anyway, it appears as if people park here, catch the bus into probably St. Paul, Minneapolis, White Bear Lake area for work. So when I talked to security, of course I wasn't familiar with this, it out uh, towards the bus area. But over here is Casino parking. There have been about this many cars. There were about this many here last night. Maybe a, a, a few less. But there were cars here all night. People coming and going. There's a security truck. We're circling the lot. 
this morning when I got up. I don't know if it was going all night or not, but I suppose so. And so they do have parking lot secure to keep an eye on things. Safe, secure. We were fine to stay. Went in, uh, supported the business a little bit. Sorry to say, I didn't uh, leave them any. We took a little bit of theirs this time. I tried to do my share, you know. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you. They do have a horse tracker, horse race track. They've got a nice horse race lobby inside where you can watch the races. The uh, blackjack dealer told me they also have simulcast on uh, television screens around the uh, casino. Now, they don't have slot machines. They do have table games. I saw... Uh, of course, I played blackjack, I saw back rat, I saw poker, Texas Hold'em poker. Uh, I think maybe they had roulette, maybe they had uh, craps, I'm not absolutely sure. I wasn't paying that much attention. Just trying to learn the lay of the land a little bit, learn a little bit about it, so I could tell y'all. So, anyway, we're getting ready to hit the highway here, head north to Duluth. Take us a couple hours once we get moving on the interstate, which isn't far away from us here. I hope I'm turning the right direction. I think this is opposite the way I came in last night. Daughter Kelly and her husband Zach live up there. They're working today, but then they have a week's vacation. They're planning on coming to Florida. We'd expect it to be in Florida. Well, we were in Florida when they canceled the uh, conference Linda was going to due to coronavirus precautions. We uh, decided to head north, call Kelly and Zach, said, hey, instead of you guys come down here, let's go up there. That way nobody's on airplanes or in crowded areas or anything else where, where there's bunches of people and risk of infection. So we're going to make our way to Duluth today. They're uh, church up there said we could park in their parking lot for the week. We'll be there from day Wednesday the 10th till around next Wednesday. We're going to head back south. We'll have to be in uh, Mississippi. A week from Monday? A week from next Monday. Two weeks from today. No, this is Wednesday. I keep thinking this is Monday. It seems to me like we just came off a weekend and I'm just all turned around. But that's okay. Lynn will get me straightened out eventually. Monday the 26th, we have to be back in Jackson, Mississippi. Linda has a doctor's appointment and uh, a few days worth of work down there in the office. So stay there. Monday the 23rd, she says now. Okay. Doesn't matter. We'll be there. We'll get there. Barring any catastrophes. So for now, I'm going to shut this off. Just wanted to show you where we are, what we're doing. Let you know where you boondock. Let's see, if that was east, I might be going the wrong direction here, but I'll get the, I shut the Google Maps off so it wasn't uh, drowning me out with my vehicle like it's done the last couple days. But uh, I think I was supposed to go east and the couple says I'm going west. A little bit of the countryside, Minnesota. Headed for Duluth right up on the tip of, is it Lake uh, Superior up there? Okay. And, uh, Linda's nephew just brought her computer up from Linda's brother's house. They're headed up to the North Shore, Lake Superior. Uh, his wife's family has a cabin up there. They're going up to spend the week. Had the kids in the van stop by. Okay, now it's asking for a Wi-Fi password. It has to be shared. Okay, so anyway, I think I'm still broadcasting. So I've got a couple people watching, a couple thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll go ahead and say goodbye for now. Please leave a comment, ask a question. If you have any, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you really dislike what we're doing, it's okay. Hit the dislike button to tell me what you'd like me to do different. I know a gimbal for the camera would be one of them. Now what I need is a dash mount gimbal right down here in front of me. This is where I usually mount the iPhone when we're traveling. This is too jiggly. You can use it fine for Google Maps to see where I'm going. It doesn't work very well for videotaping. So, anyway, for now, be safe, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.